What's up everybody? I'm Ben Oh, I don't know where that came from. The world has gone officially mad. YouTubers around the world, some of the biggest ones including Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, Ben Aqua, are switching to a crazy camera. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's get into it. Greetings Earthlings, it's Ben Aqua. So you know how there's like a million 4K cameras and there's so many choices for juicy lenses and phones. It's almost like there are too many choices, which is kind of a good problem to have. But one of the solutions that a lot of us YouTubers are going for to remedy all of our first world camera problems is we're doing a bit of a downgrade in order to upgrade our lives. But hear me out, hear me out. What are a lot of us doing? We're switching back to our crappy ass old phones. Not just for talking to people through a really staticky ass connection, but also for vlogging and YouTubing. So anyway, here are the top five reasons why YouTubers are switching to their crappy old phones. Reason number one is look how f***ing cute this thing is. I mean, it's adorable. It's got a useless antenna that I'm still convinced didn't really do shit. It's got a tiny screen on the front that doesn't really show much. It's got another screen on the inside that shows just as little. You can barely take photos on it. It doesn't even turn on anymore. This thing's amazing. Reason number two is portability. I mean, look how tiny this thing is. Sometimes it's impossible to take like a DSLR into a club or wherever you want to shoot your vlog But just look how I mean it's tiny a lot of people will say that the best camera is the one that's on you, right? Just stick it out just stick it into your hat just walk in like I don't have no camera on me And then as soon as you get into that drug cartel or wherever you're filming your vlog you just whip that thing out Oh, you're good to go greetings earthlings Reason number three why everyone is switching to their shitty old phones is camera quality. Retro is back. Everybody wants filtered images. The more fake film grain, the better. This thing takes, I don't even remember how many megapixel photos and videos, but it, it used to take them and they were really, really shitty. And when you're done shooting with this puppy, there's no way of actually getting the files from the phone onto your computer to edit your video. It's truly a miracle. Reason number three or four or whatever is durability. When I tried to charge this a few minutes ago, it didn't even turn on, probably because it's from like 2003. But it doesn't matter because I have dropped this thing. You don't have to worry about the screen cracking because the whole thing is made out of shitty plastic. You don't need screen protectors or cases. I mean, you can do stuff like this and not even worry about- Oh, shit. The battery is no longer with us, but whatever, the phone still doesn't work. And reason number five, the top reason why YouTubers are switching back to their crappy asshole phones is, uh, on a, is, I can't even think of another reason. Anyway, there are the top five reasons why you should be using your crappy ass old phone for YouTube. Let me know what you think in the comments. Smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to flip up that subscribe button so you can watch my next video where I take this thing, bake it into a pizza, pour queso all over it, and then feed it to a herd of goats.